and hello from Tatlu Zoo again. We are here with Olgun and his father, the owners of Chief Lik du Zoo restaurant. We are at the farm. It's the time of the lambs. Let's see what's happening. This is Olgun's father. Hello, hello, hello again. Who is an electrician by trade, but he's been working as a shepherd in his own farm for loads of years now. And this is Olgun, hello. who is a zootechnist. So he's studied the art of animals. Let's call it like that. That's my son, very excited over there, seeing the sheep, the goats. Olgun, yes, yes, it's the time of the lambs. Yes. Can you tell me more about your farm? All right. First of all, welcome to our farm. Well, uh, lovely now, seeing we are, you. We are here in our farm. This is a local farm. Uh, we are doing in local ways. And also, uh, we are uh, trying to do very in na natural ways. Uh, so it's all like organic, biological... Yes, yes, it's a natural way. If we say organic, is some standards will come inside. Uh -huh, but okay. uh, when we say it's uh, natural, it, it's natural. Because uh, when we uh, want to feed them, one uh, daily, when we feed them daily, one they will eat in the inside, they, they are eating uh, inside. And afternoon, they are going to the field and they are eating the natural grass, natural weeds, and they are preferring uh, the most uh, effective ones for them. So, we have had a chat before, I know, but let, yes. let's repeat this for our followers. All right. um, so, your lambs and sheep and goats, whatever, they have a natural instinct mm -hmm. for finding the best uh, plants the best weed that they need for that particular time in their lives um, You have told me that for example if one of them has problems with, with its stomach Then it goes and picks a different kind of a, of a weed of a plant If they have another problem then they pick something else and you also told me that you actually lay down on the grass <laughs> and watch them secretly what they are chewing on yeah. and then you told me you taste it yourself Yes, of course. Well, what did you? you realize when tasting these plants you, your animals prefer? So, uh, I want to start from the very, very past. Uh, in the nature, these uh, animals are normally feeding in the uh, mountains. In the wild, yes. But we take them to the farms and uh -huh. uh, many, many years we are uh, now feeding them with the standard feeds, you know. Uh, yes. Standard type of feeds. We want Sometimes them to processed give, food yes. as well. Yes. yes. We want them to give milk, or we want them to give meat for us, and we are choosing the best uh, feed for them. But when we take these animals to the uh, field, to the mountain, they are choosing uh, which type of uh, grass what they need. Uh, for what's example, better for them. For example, if they have any uh, stomachache. Uh, there's kind of weeds in the nature that can uh, help them and that can rescue them from that uh, ache. And they are choosing it. For example, one of them maybe have headache. We cannot understand which one, uh, which animal have stomachache or, uh, you know, headache or something else. But the maximum can, we can do is understand they have a problem, but we don't know what yes, it is when because see, they can when, speak. Yes, yes. When, when they have effect or physical effect, when they have, we can determine what is the problem, but uh, no, normal uh, a day, we cannot find the problem because uh, in their body, uh, but they can feel it and also they can choose they which know one how of to the treat, it. Uh, treat one. Yes, <laughs> uh, yes I uh, wish human beings had the same ability, but uh, obviously we don't have it and that's sad. I yes. wish I could have cured myself from my headaches or whatever happens to me. We are taking medicines, you know, and, yes, uh, but yes. they are uh, uh, treating them with the natural way. Yes. And uh, they are, you know, also the other thing, when I, when I was taking them to the field, uh, as you say, I lay on the ground secretly and I was looking them which one they are choosing because, you know, 
Maybe many, we can many use kinds that. of yes, yes, many many kinds of grass in the field. Maybe it's good for humans too. Uh, also, uh, it should be because uh, you know, if it's uh, okay for them, it should be okay for them as also. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And then uh, when we, uh, when I realize when uh, the type of grass they eat and the type of grass they don't eat, I taste them. Uh, there is a uh, very dif different there. Uh, which which grass is bitter? You know, taste like uh, bitter. bitter. They don't like bitter. They don't things. like it. They, wow. they they are choosing like sour, creamy. Uh, Maybe sweet. Like, ci like citrus, you know. Ah, they are, they are, citrus flavor. They are trying to eat the sour ones. I understand. That makes it very interesting. Olgun, how many animals do you have on your farm? Now we have about a hundred sheep and about twenty uh, goats. Okay, but you have enough space in here for 650 heads. Yes, yes that's a very big area. We have uh, five uh, husbandry places okay. and uh, the closed ones also. And But uh, the capacity is about 650. But now we have about 120. You're not going full capacity. Yes. You think this is better and it's but, easier for But we know that we have capacity. To, <laughs> yes, it's easier to look after them too. You also uh, use the milk to produce things. Mm -hmm. uh, you, your mother, the whole family actually. We shall have an interview with her soon mm -hmm. to see uh, what kind of cheeses she's doing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you sell these products as well? Yes, uh, the, they are giving us raw milk. You know, we can sell it to the government with a raw milk price. But okay, do you sell it we to are the locals trying too? here to manage our raw products to turn them uh, in traditional ways and okay. to cheeses, yogurts, and uh, as like that. We are serving it in our restaurant, which is which is just across the road, yes, just there. The road. Yes, yes. Uh, we are using them there. Also, the other thing, uh, when we have. More than we need, we are selling them. But You're first, them we too. are serving them on, in our restaurant. Now, I know as a fact that in your restaurant you sell goat's milk, fresh goat's milk. Of course. Do you recommend it to everyone following us? Yes, because the goat milk is the most similar uh, milk as the human milk. You know? With the human milk. Uh, the the intri uh, ingredients inside the milk is very similar to the, to, to the human milk. Uh, milk. So after after uh, pregnancy, after the milking time for the hormone, we can give them as a we can give ch replacement, child replacement. Yes, yes. As replacement a supplement. for breast. Yes, they can they can use it. Uh, many many years. Also, That's we wonderful. are drinking. Oh, my dad is drinking. Uh -huh. We shall try this too. You have a friend behind you. Meanwhile, <laughs> <laughs> this is the uh, very high capacity goats of our farm. Aha! Uh -huh. Is this the alpha? Yes, yes. She, oh. is, she is the alpha. She has children. She her uh, pregnancy is nearly done. Ah! Uh, he, she has now babies. She's she's gonna have babies. Yes, wow! Yes, yes. And. She is feeling, you know, when we say, she feels, say come, or yes, when we yes. Say, so it's like come, a house pet. To milk. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. Yes. <laughs> yes, and Denise is very excited to be here with the goats and the sheep one more time. Yes, dear followers, this is all for now. Keep following us for more interesting interviews yeah. in Tatlusu at Chief Liktuzu. Say bye everyone! Bye! Bye! bye. bye.